Even when a COVID vaccine does come out, some people may have fear of getting it due to side effect scares that have happened over the last several decades. I spoke with Dr. B.J. Vending Navale on why the benefits of a vaccine outweigh the risks. Dr. VJ, this week we're talking about something that is very important for a lot of people, and that is sort of an unnatural or unfounded fear of vaccines like the COVID vaccine that we are expecting in within a matter of weeks. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? I, you know, I agree. You know, anytime there is a new development, people tend to become a little wary of going through with it. You know, um, historically, vaccines have been one of the greatest developments that we have had against illnesses and, and diseases. So it's really been a, a dramatic improvement in, in, in human lifespan, uh, human quality of life by eliminating diseases such as uh, smallpox and improving things such as measles, mumps, rubella, eliminating polio. I mean, the list of successes are, 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 are pretty wide and far ranging. Uh, the problem was a few years ago, a paper came out that, that seemed to associate certain issues with vaccines. That paper was since withdrawn, um, and really it's been proven that that study had no merit whatsoever, but the damage was done. And I think that may be one of the reasons for the fears, but really we need to know that before anything is brought out, certainly in America, you know, the FDA does a great job of vetting things. Um, so once this vaccine, specifically the COVID vaccine, is approved for use and it comes out, I would recommend that whoever can get it should get it, and especially um, you know, different guidelines will be put out by the CDC in terms of who would be first and second and so on and so forth until we have enough doses and the capacity to administer it to everybody in the community so that we can return to a normal life. And everybody, I'm sure, has had enough of the 10 months of this, uh, this, this craziness. Have you heard why people are afraid of uh, these vaccines, what they think they might do to them? Well... One of the fears is that the vaccine was rushed through. You know, most of the time, vaccines take a long time in terms of years. It can take 10 years, um, take longer. Um, but what people need to realize is our technology now is amazing. I mean, we can make developments that used to take decades in, in months simply because we have extremely powerful computers we have the ability to manipulate um, proteins in ways that we could not before. So our technology is, is way ahead of what it used to be. Um, so that fear of rushing, while warranted, it's not really appropriate now. And then what we need to still realize is, is our government does a great job of making sure that things are safe before they're offered to the general public. So by the time the vaccine comes out, it has gone through a lot of trials. And those trials cannot be sidestepped. So now, we always, we always put our kids first. And in this case, that's probably not the right order for getting the vaccine, at least in from what we've heard. You know, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So while I'm not sure what the CDC is going to come out with in terms of guidelines, uh, but, but the people most at risk would be the elderly, uh, the, the frail, uh, certainly our, our uh, frontline workers, our emergency responders. Um, so no matter what the guidelines are, those populations will get the vaccine first before the population at large, which would include our children. Dr. VJ, thank you very much. Good information. My pleasure, sir. Thank you. And, of course, the doctor is in, joins us every Sunday morning.